I just want to talk about the importance of reading. This is mainly for those that want an education and also those with kids. Um, the media is so manipulated these days. I would say grab a book. The reason I say that is someone came up today about Libya. Um, I'm not going to get into it too much uh, because too much politics and it swings people, you know, too argumentative on it. But I would say research things, um, read up on it because the way the media portrays things is often is miles away from the truth. Um, but it's really, really frustrating for me because I. I grew up on being aware of how tyranny and how Hitler was the bad person. The book burnings, the the way things got manipulated to do, blame a minority, etc. To create racism, etc. To gain favour. But I'm finding more and more the West is doing it. Um, which is why I say open a book, use this, research yourself. This is why I do a lot of these videos, to, to be honest with you. I want people to think, you know, I've had people before argue with me, I don't agree with your point of view, I don't agree. You don't have to, that's not why I do these videos. The, the, the whole point is open this, get the grey matter going. Don't just accept that the life that you're being sold is the only life you have. You're worth more than that. Um, the other side of this being about the next generations. Uh, it's funny, today somebody posted something on Facebook about um, the value of books. And I sat there thinking, well, about three days ago, I introduced my son to Bino. Because when I come back from the UK, he wouldn't read it. He wasn't interested. But the kids have started school now. Um, while I was away, the kids had access to Samsung tabs too much. Um, now it's gone from like uh, hours a day to once, twice a week, which is sort of like, what do I do now? Um, but what's happened is originally he wouldn't read the read the Beano, which if you don't know, it's a comic book. Um, I bought them in the UK for him and I got Zoe um, some other uh, books, uh, what's it, Charlie and Lola, Charlie and Lola, um, so they both got comic books, but Zoe reads anyway, they're, they're quite funny because um, my son Ubi, his nickname's Uen, well his real name's Uenri, I call him Ub, Ub's like a purple yam, but he's, he's had that nickname since he was um, born. But Zoe will read, Zoe will eat fresh fruit, vegetables, etc. Ubi's more hamburgers and fries and technology. They're, it's the yin and yang. But removing the electronics has actually made a positive impact in a big way. Because I found he's less hyperactive, I found that... Um, he enjoys the books, he's gone to bed with the books. Um, yeah, yes, <laughs> this tab. Um, and the, the reason I'm saying this is that spend time with your kids, read with them. They don't need technology. Technology robs us of life in many ways. A lot of time people say, oh yeah, but with this technology we move forward, you know, we, we have more time. More time to do what? Read emails? <laughs> you know, a lot of stuff in life is not about taking time from you. Um, going for a walk, you know, what? <laughs> it's the basic, you know, but I've got a car. You know, I've, I know people like that. They'll go, but I've got a car. Why do I want to go for a walk? Because it's a beautiful uh, morning, you can see the sunrise. You can get that fresh sea air, etc. 
but the concept's gone. And the concept's gone because the generation of their parenting had also lost it or were the cause of losing it. Reading to kids and getting them to read gives them a broader mind. They have an education, they have a, a thought pattern that isn't based on something that only lasts 30 seconds. They have the ability to go, okay, I'm going to go and research that. That is going, you know, people don't read as much as they should do. They're probably not encouraged to read the right stuff. Um, yeah, it's a bit bizarre, but if you want your kids to get ahead in life, they need to read. Now, the other thing on this video, I'll make it a bit more interesting, is because I had a bit of time today after the uh, fiasco at the not getting my residentia today, I decided to mess around with the kids um, and make them some little Lego men um, pictures. But they haven't seen them yet, so I'll just show you the sort of stuff I get up to when <laughs> when things are quiet, which is uh, one of the reasons my I think my wife appreciates me is because some of the stuff I do is like the kids love because I'll do these little things which are they, they mean a lot to the kids, which is you know like Christmas morning where you're waiting for your present, etc. But we'll go in the kids' bedroom. See, here we have Zoe's. Now, it doesn't seem much, but it, you know, being a picture, but for a kid, they love it. And here's Zoe's. couple of characters, because the thing is, when they wake up in the morning, they'll wake up and go, oh, you know, it's something new, it's something unique, it's something interesting. It doesn't need to be a brand new mobile phone. It's a piece of paper with a picture. But kids love it. Why? It's them. Why? Because the parents took the time to actually make it for them. It's unique. It's one-offs. That's what matters. I mean, if you're looking here, I'm letting you around my house at the minute. You know, when you were, well, maybe you weren't when you were a kid, but when you were, um, maybe, maybe you were a female. <laughs> but, you know, the, the models you get where you pop things over the top, you know, they're, you know, like where they, you get the clothes and you just fold them over the top. You know, like this. Now, this has been around for ages, but as you can see, it's quite a unique little art set. Kids love it. What is it? It's bits of paper, bits of cardboard. It's not hard to do. And all I'm saying here is, you know, because I know some people on a very tight budget, you don't need to spend the earth. Because the one thing the kids love is the one thing that isn't here all the time, and that's you. Um, so doing these little interesting things is what the kids love. Um, because the memories, every time you do one, you get, it's a memory because it's unique. You know, um, when you look at what stuff kids love the most, it's normally the most basic. A cardboard box, a, what do you call it? It's the most simple of things. Even, I mean, even these. <laughs> we'll be pleased with this a lot. It's a, uh, no, but won't be train sets. Which, which which one does he play with the most? The cheapest one. It's got a book. And then everything is these little characters. They're not 
they're not electric, they're not steam, very basic. And I'm just saying this to you because I know a lot of people assume kids want the latest stuff or whatever. The way to beat that is being smarter. When somebody goes, well, I've got the latest Nike trainers or whatever, my kids go, well, they, not yet, <laughs> they're still young, but they'll go, okay, that's great, but we went to an art lesson at the weekend, or um, we learned calligraphy, or, you know, something that's very hard to knock back. A pair of trainers doesn't do anything. It doesn't define a person. What defines a person is manners, ability, knowledge, experience, and how they look at other people. Everything else is irrelevant. You know, my happiest times in my own childhood have always been things like some of the cheapest times, you know, like Christmas with the family, you know, when everybody's there. So those have a strong memory because it's the one time everybody's in the same place. Um, it's not about wealth. And this is where people need to look at the fact that wealth doesn't help. Wealth doesn't create happiness. Happiness comes from within. Happiness is being content. You know, some people would think, oh, the, Matt's living in a two-bedroom apartment in Spain, but it's only a small apartment. And I've got friends that live in half a million pound houses, etc. But are they happy? They're working two to three weeks of the month to pay the mortgage. <laughs> we have no mortgage. We have a, a rent, but my cost of living here compared to the UK is about one-third. We have enough money in the bank for the next year or more, up to about 18 months. But I'll tell you what I have that a lot of other people haven't got. I take my kids to school. I pick my kids up. We go to the park in the afternoons. We go, um, well, like today, I took Oob on the cycling trailer. So I cycled into school in the afternoon because in Spain, uh, you pay for school lunches, but um, or you pick kids up and bring them back. Um, but Oob doesn't eat lunch, so I can't see the point of paying for it if he's not actually going to eat the food. So instead, I pick him up and you know we cycle back on the bike with him on the trailer. Those are the stuff kids remember because they remember going to school on the trailer. They remember spending time with you and like I said I've got friends with larger houses but they'll often not see their kids all day they'll drop them off at school in the morning um, and then maybe pick them up from the kids club which are the after school activities because they get home so late I'm moving away from that life um, the last company I worked for I'll be honest with you uh, was a nightmare. Um, they they basically tried to put a gagging order on me, actually uh, saying the realities of it. But I'll just say, let's put it this way: they're not family friendly. Um, and for myself, I I can take on a chin and say, well, stick your job, because then the day I'd rather be cleaning toilets than work for them. But it doesn't make me bitter, it just, the basic fact is, I'd rather be doing that because I can be home every day, you know. Money really doesn't matter to me. I sit here in Spain and we can live on a thousand euros a month. But in the UK, I'm worth up to 14,000 euros a month. Doesn't, doesn't bring happiness though. Um, I was talking to Igor about this yesterday, about the, about life and how everybody wants me to be here, there and everywhere, but I have no interest in the important bits that matter to me, they're only interested in the important bits that matter to them, um, want me to solve their business problems that they've run into the ground for the last 14 years, but 
at the same time, the important things for me is my family. That's it. I don't really care about anything else beyond that. But it's just like, well, this is it. This is real. Well, I don't need to work for you. I don't want to work for you. I don't want that sort of negativity in my life. They don't appreciate it. <laughs> they assume everybody can be bought. And I think that throws them off completely when you just say, no, I'm not interested. But anyway, I thought I'd share this. You know, this is a bit of my life. Um, I generally don't share these bits and pieces. But I just want to show the sort of stuff I get up to. Um, like I said, I like making the kids happy. That's what matters to me. It was it was funny today we were taking Uber in the afternoon because the teacher was late coming back. So he didn't want to go into the classroom because other kids are there. But he doesn't want to go because... Of, you know, it feels a bit awkward because the class is already full, etc. But then all the kids come and harass me. <laughs> but then they were asking me questions. It was quite funny because I was like, uh, you know, you know, they were rattling off to me in Spanish, and I was like, oh no, 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 ma uh, poco español, hablo uh, inglés, you know, which is like small Spanish, I speak English, and then they're like. Ah, but you know, it's quite funny seeing all these kids from probably about three to five year old suddenly as if like <laughs> they're all like, oh, oh, okay, but pretty chilled out. But yeah, I mean, I'm looking at changing my entire career to be honest, um, but I'll talk about that in the next video. All right, thanks for watching.